Hello, this is Dylan from GSM Exchange Trade Zone, Dubai JITEX 2013. I'm here in the stand of Company Achievers with Mr. Sunil Odani. Hello, Mr. Sunil, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, everyone. Very well, thank you. You're very well, I can see that. You're quite busy as well. Uh, on this note, tell us a bit more about your company. I'm particularly interested about your company because I know that you made a recently very swift shift from what you do to what you do now. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, of course, uh, basically we are from computer business. Past 23 years we are in the same business. It's uh, a long time. Yeah, uh, 11 years uh, in Dubai and uh, 12 years in India. Mobile business very new, maybe a month old. That's not a crime. We are we <laughs> just born. That's right. That's not, that's not a crime. Yeah. <laughs> so it's very interesting. Uh, as far as so, uh, it's been really good. It's a bit overwhelming in the beginning, isn't it? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And how was it? It's particularly interesting. Was that a was that a, a leap uh, in a sense of a giant leap, or it was a gradual development towards mobile phones? How did you take this decision to venture into? Uh, as of now, the way the market is turning on smartphones, tabs, so definitely the market of mobile is deteriorating a little bit. Uh, we can feel around about 10-15% the market has come down for, for, for the laptops. And we, we felt that we, we should try and explore this market, you know, you know so we, we just started this business. Because it's because of the convergence of mobile and laptop that taken away the share from the laptops and added it to the tablets and mobiles? Yeah, today we feel the share has gone down by 15%, but perhaps tomorrow would be much bigger. Yeah, so, so that, that was the main decision to, to lead you? Very true. Down the line, maybe after a year or two, if we come, maybe again we have to restart the wheel and you know, do all those things. So we thought, let us try again, uh, let's try now. Well, we'll see how it goes. And. Um, as you started the mobile phone business now, uh, do you concentrate on any particular brands? Yeah, yeah. Uh, to start with, we, we have started with Samsung, iPhones, uh, Nokia, and a little bit Sony. The usual suspects? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think these are the most popular ones. Most popular yeah, 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 yeah. And was it, um, was it difficult to start with? I mean, if I have to ask you, what was the single biggest challenge you had to face yeah. in this transition? Was it a smooth transition or it was, was it shaky? Because you already have your channels, you know, we don't need to discover the, the hot water. Yeah. Basically, we understand the business dynamics because uh, laptop business is kind of similar. Of course, the fluctuation is comparatively less. Mobile, the fluctuation is much more intense. Uh, so it's not much more uh, change in dynamics, but yes, the product line to understand the vendors, the so life cycle. Uh, yeah, yeah, the life cycle is much, uh, I think, lower. The shelf life is too less. So we are trying to understand that. But mobile is at par. The uh, la laptop is similar. There are some products which are very fast. Technology keeps on changing. In fact, uh, I, I must say, mobile business, I'm finding it very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. That, that's the beauty of it. It's challenging but interesting. <laughs> and uh, you were mentioning how uh, you're exhibiting for the first time as an already phone vendor as well, yeah. phone, uh, phone uh, trader or distributor. How do you find the JSM Exchange Trade Zone experience so far? Be completely honest. <laughs> uh, it's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, I remember uh, when we started the laptop business in Dubai, it was tough. It was really tough to understand, to get the vendors, to get into that cycle. But the mobile business is far, far more easier. Uh, till now, of course, I need to learn. We are uh, actually crawling now. We have not even started walking. Your insight is so important because when it's new, we kind of tend to be more honest about things. Yeah, yeah. The best part uh, is so easy. The cycle, uh, the suppliers are, uh, everything is almost, especially after joining GSM Exchange. Uh, the kind of leads what we get, everything is so open. Uh, we need to just explore, uh, but yes, I must say, this business needs 24 hours, which are even less. Uh, if you are into it, you are into it, you are into it, and you are deep into it. So, There's no way about it. Yeah, yeah, a lot of time is required. And uh, if you graduate more deeper you go, more you understand. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so I take it that uh, what I asked you uh, was that. Um, so I take it that it was a gradual kind of uh, smooth shift between from whatever you used to do to, to mobile phones. It was kind of it was inevitable at a certain stage that that's going to happen. Uh, to be very honest, in fact, this past three four months we were planning to get into the business. We started with the tabs. We started with Samsung tabs, Apple iPads, and you know, uh, we got the feel. And we realized if we are not into mobiles, we can't sell tabs. 
So after we started mobile business, uh, is uh, it's the same channel basically. No, uh, I, I must say the channel is different. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. If the channel was same, then uh, things would have been enormously different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, between tablets and uh, mobile phones. Uh, no, the channel. Uh, are you talking about the suppliers or the customers? Both actually. No. Uh, very, very few suppliers are similar. Very few. I must say, hardly negligible, and customers are completely different. Yeah, I wish if we had a similar supplier and uh, similar customers. The buyers for phones are completely then, different. Then we, we would have entered with the bomb because uh, everybody knows this in laptops. We are one of the most aggressive companies in the Middle East and the MENA region. Okay. Uh, so think it's amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing. Uh, do you concentrate on any particular markets? Do you need to penetrate any particular markets? Do you have in mind any? Yeah, yeah, definitely. We are thinking about the Middle East, uh, North Africa, and the reach CIS and the regions nearby. That will be your goal. Do you do much? Uh, do you intend to work a lot with, or at least, uh, with Europe, with Hong Kong? Is that in your? Is that in the books? Uh, Middle East is your core. Uh, uh, this, are you talking about the sales point or the purchase? Uh, both, because that's trading. <laughs> it has to go both ways. Uh, we, we, you want to sell the Middle East, uh, and honestly, we don't have any boundaries now with the GSM exchange. I think, <laughs> okay. uh, uh, wow, it's so wide and uh, all over. The spread is very nice. We, we don't have any specific uh, limitations on that. But that's good because that allows it to be very flexible and very... Exactly. And the mobile business on an international platform is much more uh, wider. And normally we never do anything on a lower format. Uh, laptops, if you talk about in a month, we do around about 30,000 laptops a month. Uh, so definitely if you are into entering into mobile business, we do not expect to do 5-10 thousand mobiles a month. If you enter into this business, uh, we, we have a target of at least on a conservative side, five million dollar a month. In next quarter, that's the to make it worthwhile. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If the business is not large, we we will not be inside it. Well, it's with margins uh, shrinking all the time and stuff like that. No, it has to be there. one thing we have learned, uh, I think, since past of our experience, we have learned. If you're deep into business, uh, you know uh, the business finds out the way to you know make profits and things like that. That's a very good insight, actually. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, the, thanks for that. It's, uh, it was amazing talking to you, and uh, I would uh, last but not least, it will be really interesting because you recently joined GSM Exchange, yeah, yeah. and uh, your um, feedback is very fresh and unbiased. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is your initial thought of uh, GSM Exchange as a service? You already made a few pointers, yeah. but you have to single out one particular service that proves to be the most beneficial to your business, which one would it be? Uh, I would say uh, you guys are very prompt. Uh, any kind of a query, uh, let's say starting from any kind of a product or a supplier or customer, any kind of a credentials if I want to find, I never thought it would be so easy. Uh, last transaction when I was doing, I spoke to Laura, my account manager, I told her, uh, can I wire the money to this guy? And within half an hour, she came, she came with the credentials. I was zapped and amazed, you know. How, how is it possible? Because in IT, uh, I'm sorry, but I don't recollect any kind of a, a site which gives you a solution like this. So it, it really uh, is very motivating, very encouraging. And the way things are, it, it seems quite positive. Thank you very much for the kind words. Uh, see, this, in, this is, as we already mentioned it, the life cycle is shorter. You have to be immediate and accurate, otherwise you'll be, everybody will be out of business if you're not immediate and accurate. So that's why the information comes to you such with a quick turnaround. Right. Thank you for the kind words. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank you for having you as a member, as an exhibitor. We wish you all the luck in the thank future. You. We'll be there for you. So thanks very much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. This was Dylan from GSM Exchange Trade Zone, Dubai Jitex 2013. Thank you.